Well, good morning, good afternoon. I'm, heck, I'm not sure what time it is. We've been just going like crazy today. We have to get started on fall tillage, and then also, I have somebody you guys might know. Well, some of you guys, yeah, may know. A trucker coming with a load of Holstein dairy cows. And we're going to be starting kind of the dairy operation, getting it going here. We should probably have feed, but we don't have feed ready yet. And then we got to get started on fall tillage too. So i got to head on down to deer, and I'm going to try and get a ripper for this uh, to rip some of our ground. Some of our ground will just disc. We'll figure it out here, but we got to get it kind of opened up and stuff. They say these chemicals are going to do stuff, but gosh darn it, it just, those chemicals just aren't doing crap. Um, some guys say they work, some guys, I don't know. But you can't beat an old reliable piece of tillage. We got to do an oil change on the 1206 and 1086 should be good. We got Barry, trucker. Hey, you just fine morning, bud. Hey, good, good. Oh, I think I remember you. Didn't my pops used to still a whole lot of business with you? <laughs> yeah. I just this <laughs> oh. small world, Barry, small world. I was just telling these guys. Oh, you oh. were Ch Chad's son. Yeah. One and only, man. You got a mouth, boy. Gosh. The, you know what? Chet was a good guy. They, uh, gosh oh, darn, you best. know. They don't make oh, two of I'm them anymore. You sure about that? <laughs> All right, boy, where you want these Holsteins at? Well, Barry, if you want to back around here, we'll get you. How a foot trailer, boy. I'll take care of the rest. Okay. Like father, like son, right, Barry? You know it, boy. Oh, uh, Chet would have done that twice as fast, though. He also had a truck with a fifth gear in reverse. This one's only got three. Boy, are you sure this is right? It looks like it's the other gate you put everything in. No, no, this is it. This is it. I'm gonna straighten the dang thing back out. Get busy. Get, get your butt moving, boy. Get dirty in that goddamn grass. <laughs> oh, like There we like go. Stone. Get, boy. It's feeding time. How much do I owe you, Barry? Cooler's light. And a pack of uh, spack of smokes. I got three packs of Cooler's light, and I got a smoke cool inside. Right. Will that do? Oh, 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 oh. I should do just fine. That will fax you. Uh, we'll get you old stuff later. Pay me up a little bit more. 250 yeah. bucks for transportation charges. Okay, yeah. We'll get that. Hold up. Right, I don't know about you, but I gotta go get more, no, some more Angus. Let me get you. Let me get you a couple packs here. I'll pull up to the front. Gosh, Barry, he's a uh, he's a good guy. I haven't known him long, but small world we live in. Barry's out here in Wisconsin. Son of Chet. Gosh, I don't know how the heck that works. Barry, I got three packs of coolers. Ice gold. <laughs> Chet was uh, always a Miller Light like guy. It. Chet was always a Miller Light guy, though. I never got that. Thinking that slopping foam. Yeah. I told him. I told Mama back in the day. He weighed 90 goddamn pounds, and they gave him that slopping foam. I tell you what, it was. Give me some heavy stuff. That's right. I'll pop that in the cab. I'll pop a few while I'm driving. Don't follow my instructions, all right? It's not a good idea. I learned it from the best. <laughs> uh, Barry, where are you, where are you living at? Oh, I'm about this uh, 10 miles outside of Mississippi. Oh, oh, you're ways yet. Yeah, I kind of travel a lot. So you live in Iowa or Wisconsin? I'm all right up on that little port between Davenport and... Sioux City, I'm kind of right in between them. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a, a pretty wide range, Barry. <laughs> I've been on a road for too long, all right? Leave me alone. I'm between Davenport and Iowa City. That's what I meant to say. Oh. It's right smack dab in the middle. Right along I-80. Hey, you know they have the biggest truck stop in the world out there. Oh, yeah, by Wycott. That's right that's where, where I'm about at. About 15 miles north of there. Okay. 15 miles north of truck stop. So I've been on the road. i got to head back that way. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Appreciate it, Barry. Hey, I got some uh, leftovers pizza. Want one for the road? Hey, might as well. Wouldn't yeah. hurt. Step on you in. Know I mean? You know I mean? Smoking the house, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. That's a good pizza. I should drop it. There you go. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty fine stuff you got there. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you, good sir. Your hospitality has been out of this world. You look I'm exactly like Chet. Well, I'm kind of his son. I'd think I would. I know, but there is... I mean, you just throw some gray hair on you, and gosh dang, 
<laughs> You're about 10 years with this job and putting up with people and you'll get that. Mm. How else do you think the guy went crazy? Yeah. He had to deal with a bunch of locos out of Missouri. Gosh, he was a good guy. I love him. <laughs> Had to see how he went, but boy, oh yeah. boy, if you heard the phone calls we got from the nursing home on him and all his shenanigans, yeah. boy, he went out with like a champ. Yeah, he's smiling <laughs> up there. He's probably laughing at us down here. He's got to be laughing, rolling his chair. Probably lighting a stogie right now. <laughs> oh, Pops, rest in peace. <laughs> all right, well, I've got to get on the road because i got to head back to, uh, oh, I can't remember anymore. i head back to Des Moines. Oh, okay, you're heading out to Help the morning. Yep. Yeah. Stop by that Kinsey to... place along I-80. That's pretty cool. You see the plant yeah, in the air? Uh-huh. That's pretty cool. Like I see. I see you, sir. Thank you for your business. And, oh, get me a nice smoke in. We'll see you, Barry. Drive safe, man. Hello. Asha. So we got 25 Holsteins here. And we got to get feed ready for them. If we go in here. Yes, I still have my lawnmower inside here. We need silage, hay, and grain. We have the grain. We can get hay pretty easily, and we can actually get a last last cut off of here. The only thing is we need silage, and I don't have chaff right now. So we're going to have to figure out something for our silage situation. We got the gooseneck attached, and we got to pick up an 11 shank ripper. It's going to be a little bit for this 8760, but it should work good. And then I'd like to get a disc bought also, but I don't know. If, there's no way we're going to have room on this trailer for it. We'll figure out. We'll figure out something. And I already got the 11 shank ordered through Buck. He had a uh, he sent out orders last or in August for them, saying they'd be ready in November. And they're ready right on time. Usually they're behind a little bit. They're spot on this time though. Looks like Buck's getting hooked up to the low boy over there too. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a load and a half. If all else fails, we could probably take off the outside shanks here, and it would work. It should be able to work just fine with taking off the outside shanks. You're just going to have a bar that sticks out, but that's okay. Hey! You say something? Yeah, could you load me up with the 11 shake? Oh, <laughs> it's going to have to deliver that thing. No, no, I'm here. That's all I Susan, okay. Susan called and said it was in, so. Um, okay. I guess I'll... <laughs> Do that then. You need help over there, Buck? I'm thinking I'll be fine. I'm trying to like basically load it with this thing. This is not what this where'd, is meant for. Where'd you get that? That looks perfect. It's got two points on it. Did you find some weight back there? Oh, uh, yeah, a little. Oh, you got my tractor help. weights and you got a rear weight. You should be able. I got a recenter. This is not recommended. Yeah, that's a little 48 loader too. Gosh, hopefully she doesn't crack. She hasn't done anything bad to us before, so. You sure it's gonna lift it though? Oh, never oh, mind. Oh, she's hurting. Okay. She okay. is hurting. Keep going. <laughs> a little higher. Yep. Yep. Oh, she's keep slipping. Go. Yep. She's keep slipping. Going. Keep slipping. going. Keep going. Right there. You good? Yep. Yep. Oh. Loose the. There we go. Back it up. Back it up now, y'all. Like Buck, how am I going to get that off there? I can follow you. That's well, about the only really way you're going to be able to get it off. Well, <laughs> At I least can make... without ruining it. Yeah. Well, don't you have like an actual ramp area on your farm I do. somewhere? I like do. Have, yeah, I, I have kind of a hillside. It should work. I think you could probably try and do that. Holden Sun's Inc. These guys do good business. If anybody's looking for a deer, they got a couple 47s. And uh, they got a lot of 4440s in there too. She is one heavy son of a gun back there. I, I don't know how Buck lifted that with the 4020 loader. He had all the rear weight in the world, but I still don't know how that loader had enough power to even get it up there. We're gonna see. This should work if we get these straps undone in here. Thing is, is Deer recommends like 350 horsepower on these 11 shanks. In the 8760 is only 300, 300 horse even. So, we're going to be a little low on horsepower. We'll see. Hey, there's Buck. He must be all in an 89 or an 87, it looks like. I can't tell from here. You know, I just forgot. We don't have a three-point... The link arms. They're supposed to come with the tractor, but the, the, the three-point's there. I just don't have the three-point linkage. 
We're gonna have to call Susan or something at Deer or Buck if I can get a hold of Buck. See if they have those parts in stock for the link arms. I don't know why they didn't come stock on them if it has the three point package, but. Welcome to Holland and Sons Equipment. For service, press one. For parts, press two. For, sir, uh, for sales, please press three. And for package deals that you obviously forgot to buy but know you need to have installed, please press four. Four. This is Sam. Hey, Jim. This is uh, Grant. Hey, we got, uh, I, I bought, I bought, I forgot to get the linkage arms on the 8760 I bought from you guys a while back. Uh-huh. You guys have any of those in stock? I'd have to check with Jeremy in the back on the department see if we got anything sitting in the rear, but I think we probably got something. Uh, I'm gonna go okay. Jimmy check with him on the shop. Quick. Yep, yeah, go and put me on hold. They put the most annoying music on here. You back here? Hey, yep, 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 sorry. Yep. Yep, Jeremy said we got we got a set of them for that tractor specifically. We actually just had one taken off for a clientele. That's what I think Buck was running out north by your place to go drop off, so. Oh, I'll yeah, give him yeah. a word. I think he's got a radio in the truck. Okay. We'll get him out there, and if you want him to come pick it up, probably can. Hey, I'll, I'll come pick it up right now, put my name on it, so nobody takes it. I'm coming right now, though, Jim. Okay, uh, should be back accordingly. If anything else, just drop it off outside of second bay. We'll get it then. Okay. Hey, thanks, Jim. Appreciate you. No problem. Have a good one, bud. Yep, bye. Okay, I talked to Jim at Deer. We're going to run and get that. Can we unhook the trailer on the side hill? That should work. It sounds like Buck's outrun errands and stuff, and, and Jim's got my name on it. So we're going to go. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. We're going to take a shortcut. Have a nice day. Be sure to visit Holland and Sons again. Thanks, Susan. Okay, we got paid with Susan. Got her her money up front. There's Buck rolling her. Holy! Oh! Don't what me! And also, what the heck you doing just pulling out in front of an 18 wheeler? Didn't Dad teach you how to drive? Come hey, on, if man! If I'm not mistaken, Buck, that would have been uh, an accident on the lot. Yeah, you'd be the one at fault on that one for pulling out in front of me! <laughs> the customer's always right, Buck. You know it. Yeah, not when the customer's your half intelligent brother. <laughs> I apologize, guys. This video is all running errands. Sometimes that's how it is in farming, seems like. There is just so much stuff going on. If Buck could get out here and get some of this grass mowed down, we could get some hay in there for the cows. Because um, he's kind of the manager of the hay operation. I'm more row crop. Bucket, or Bucket, sorry. Bucket had to take the 87 back to the shop at Deer. Because uh, there's a couple bolts that were just completely rusted on and we couldn't get them playing with it so he just took it back and they were gonna put the linkage arms on there um we're gonna try and lift this thing off with the 47 i don't know if it's gonna do it but we're gonna try she might be uh well we should have enough weight up front back her up there we go there we go <laughs> Now this is overkill. The 87 was close, but the 4755 er, is completely underkill. If there's a word of underkill. Our tires are squatting, which is a pretty cool feature that Farmson puts in with tire squat actually when you get a lot of rear weight. I, that is pretty awesome by them. This is going to get ripped up into row crop and we have so much grass and hay we got to get off this fall that for now it's probably fine. Uh, we're going to try her. We're going to try the 47. Is it going to pull it? No. Are we going to try it? Yes. We'll try it. We'll start her off in first gear. And if this pulls it, I will be shocked. The only way it will is if we have really light ground here. We'll put her in first gear. And I'll drop her down and we'll go. Come on. We're spinning. Oh, uh, it's I don't know if it's gonna pull it. Oh, hey, we're breaking through. There comes Buck with it. Okay, yeah. We'll gear up. Yeah, we're just spinning. I mean we're pulling it somewhat. 
It's somewhat pulling it, but we're spinning up. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna go her. That was you know, I, don't, I already had to break five fasteners to get this thing on. I don't really want to replace a transmission today. Dude, that little you, 47. I was at, I, look how far I went, Buck. Look how many gears I'm gonna have to replace and a clutch that's gonna need also changed. Oh God, it, it, it's under warranty. It's all good. I can't believe that pulled it. I almost can't believe either. Okay, we got her in second range, second gear. Let's yeah. see what she can do. Give her. Okay, that's going to work good with 11 chink. I wasn't sure if we'd have enough power, but it seems to be working good. Heck, even the 47 just about pulled her. So we'll kind of get this ripped up up here. Um, we just don't need that much grass ground. So we'll put this back into crops. Crop prices are pretty good. It makes sense. Word of thought, it works best in the fourth gear range at second gear. Pulls it right at eight. Anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of this one. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And hey, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.